Did you know that there are five types of artificial intelligence? AI is not just one uniform technology, but a vast field with many different types, each with its own capabilities and applications. In this video, we'll unravel the mystery behind the different types of AI, providing an easy-to-understand explanation for each. Let's start with the first type, Type 1, Reactive Machines AI. This type represents the earliest and simplest form of AI. These systems operate solely on the basis of existing data, making decisions and predictions purely in reaction to the input they receive. They do not have the ability to form memories, meaning they cannot use past experiences to inform their current decisions or future behavior. An iconic example of a reactive machine is IBM's Deep Blue, the chess-playing AI that made headlines back in 1997 by defeating world champion Garry Kasparov. Deep Blue operates by analyzing the current state of the chessboard and predicting the outcome of various moves to determine the best possible move at that moment. However, despite its impressive capabilities, Deep Blue is not capable of learning or adapting. It can't remember its previous games or use them to improve its future performance. Each game it plays is essentially its first, with no memory of previous victories, defeats, or strategies. Another example of reactive machines is the Google search algorithm. When you enter a query, the algorithm instantaneously reacts by scouring the web for the most relevant pages based on its programmed rules and parameters. But again, it does not remember your past searches or learn from them to improve future results. Though they may seem primitive compared to other types of AI, reactive machines are incredibly useful for tasks that require reliability, speed, and consistency. They are instrumental in fields like online search, industrial automation, and video games. While reactive machines are limited by their lack of memory and learning capabilities, they represent the foundational building blocks from which more advanced AI systems have evolved. Type 2. Limited Memory AI. As we progress to the second stage, we encounter a more advanced form of AI. Limited Memory AI. These systems not only operate on existing data like reactive machines, but they also have the ability to learn from past experiences. This learning, however, is limited to short-term memory, meaning these systems can temporarily store and use historical information to make present decisions. Limited memory AI is most commonly seen in applications such as self-driving cars. For instance, a self-driving car needs to constantly observe and quickly learn from its environment in order to make safe decisions. It observes the speed and direction of other vehicles, remembers this for a certain duration, and uses that information to make informed decisions about its own speed and direction. These machines are constantly learning and updating their observations. As an example, if a car changes lanes or a pedestrian crosses the street, the self-driving car will remember this action for a while and factor it into its subsequent decisions. Despite the sophistication of limited memory AI, it's important to note that these systems do not possess long-term memory. They can't store information or learnings indefinitely. Their learning is constrained to specific tasks and a limited time frame. The ability of limited memory AI to learn and adapt in real time represents a significant leap from the reactive machines. They're like the adolescence of the AI world, displaying a more dynamic and interactive approach to problem solving. This deeper understanding of the environment and adaptability makes limited memory AI a vital part in the development of real-world AI applications. Type 3. Theory of Mind AI. The third type in our list is what we call Theory of Mind AI. Now don't be intimidated by the name. When we say Theory of Mind, we're talking about the ability to understand that others have thoughts, feelings, motivations, and intentions that are different from our own. It's a concept we humans learn at a very young age and use every day to interact with other people. So when we talk about Theory of Mind AI, we're referring to machines that are designed to understand and interact with their users on a more personal and intuitive level. These AI systems can comprehend and react to human emotions, intentions, thoughts, and expectations. A simple example of this is an AI customer service representative. These systems don't just respond to user commands like a reactive machine or limited memory AI would. Instead, they try to understand the customer's needs and emotions. 
They can interpret whether a customer is frustrated, confused, or happy, and they can tailor their responses accordingly. A more advanced example is social robots, which are designed to interact with humans in a natural and emotionally engaging way. These robots use sensors and algorithms to read and interpret human emotions, enabling them to respond in ways that feel more personal and empathetic. However, it's essential to note that, as of now, theory of mind AI systems are still far from being able to fully understand and replicate the full range of human emotions and intentions. While they can mimic understanding and emotional intelligence to a certain extent, their abilities are still limited and based on the data and programming provided to them. Nevertheless, theory of mind AI marks a significant milestone in the AI journey. These systems represent a maturing adolescent stage in AI development, showing an ability to perceive and respond to more complex aspects of the world around them. The evolution of theory of mind AI opens up a new realm of possibilities, from more interactive and personalized customer service to robots that could potentially provide companionship and emotional support. Type 4. Self-Aware AI this level of AI involves systems that possess an advanced form of consciousness. They're not just aware of the world around them, they're aware of themselves. In simpler terms, self-aware AI is a machine that has developed a form of self-consciousness and introspection. It's not just understanding and reacting to external inputs, but it's also able to reflect on its own thoughts and actions. It understands its own state and can predict the feelings of others. Imagine having a conversation with a robot that can express genuine emotions, understand its existence, and even discuss its thoughts and ideas. That's the kind of interaction you could expect with a self-aware AI. It's like talking to the famous android, Data, from Star Trek, The Next Generation. Data is a character that continually seeks to understand and emulate human emotions, to learn from his experiences, and to grow as an individual. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As of now, self-aware AI remains a theoretical concept. While we've made strides in areas like natural language processing and machine learning, true self-awareness, the kind we humans experience, remains beyond our current technological reach. However, the concept of self-aware AI is still a fascinating one. It represents an adult stage in the development of AI, a stage where machines could potentially understand, learn, and grow in ways that mirror human intelligence and consciousness. At the same time, self-aware AI also raises significant ethical and philosophical questions. Should machines have rights if they become self-aware? How do we ensure they're used responsibly and ethically? These are questions we'll need to grapple with as we continue to push the boundaries of AI. Type 5. Fully Autonomous AI as we move on to the fifth level of AI, we venture into an area that takes us beyond the realm of self-awareness and into the world of full autonomy. We are now looking at fully autonomous AI, an advanced form of artificial intelligence that can operate independently of human intervention. Picture an AI that doesn't just follow instructions or learn from its environment. Instead, imagine an AI that can set its own goals, make its own plans, and execute them without any need for human guidance. This is what we mean when we talk about fully autonomous AI. Let's put this into perspective. An autonomous AI system could be a self-driving car that not just navigates its route, but also decides the best time to travel based on weather and traffic conditions. Or imagine a healthcare AI system that not only diagnoses diseases, but also designs personalized treatment plans for patients and adjusts them in real time as their condition evolves. This is a significant step up from self-aware AI. While self-aware AI has consciousness, fully autonomous AI has the ability to take independent actions based on that consciousness. It's akin to an AI becoming an adult, capable of making its own decisions and pursuing its own goals. In the world of popular culture, a fully autonomous AI might look like the robots from the movie I, Robot, where machines serve humanity, capable of independently carrying out a variety of tasks, adjusting their behavior based on their environment. However, as fascinating as this level of AI may sound, it also brings along its own set of challenges and ethical dilemmas. If an AI can make its own decisions, who is responsible for those decisions? How do we ensure that autonomous AI systems respect human values and rights? 
Despite these concerns, the potential for fully autonomous AI is immense. It represents an important milestone in our journey to understand and harness the power of AI. As we delve deeper into this exciting domain, we continue to unlock new possibilities, transforming the way we live, work, and interact with the world. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.